Welcome in the troubleshooting Apache Spark course. My name is Tomasz Lelek and I am a software engineer programming mostly in Java and Scala. I am a fan of microservices architecture and functional programming. I am working in big data stack and have four years experience, that is production experience, in Apache Spark. So let's see what we will learn throughout this course. Firstly, we will start from common problems and troubleshooting the Spark distributed engine. We will try to solve those problems and see how to alleviate them. In the second section, we will see distributed data frames optimization pitfalls. Data frames is a newer API that also has some pitfalls because it hides complexity of RTDs underneath. Third section will be about joins. In big data world, we need to perform a lot of joins between multiple datasets. This is a common problem. How to perform them effectively and efficiently? We'll be looking at this in the section 3. In the fourth section, we'll be solving problems with non-efficient transformations. Transformations are mind-building blocks of every Spark program. We need to make them very efficient as possible. Last section will be concerning Spark Streaming. We will be troubleshooting its real-time processing jobs and real-time engine of Apache Spark. So, coming to prerequisites, you need to have Scala and SBT installed and also IntelliJ IDE for code editor. Also, you need to have some kind of modern laptop or desktop. So, if you are an Apache Spark developer at the beginning of your journey and find a lot of hard problems when using Apache Spark, this course is for you. You will learn how to solve the most common problems of Apache Spark users. Let's go through key features of this course. So why you want to buy it? First one is optimize resources and cost, but utilizing the speed of Spark. So you are able to process same amount of data with less resources after that course. Also troubleshooting Spark execution DAC engine by exploring Spark logical and physical query plans to perform the same logic on fewer executor and machines. Last key feature is to solve the problem of slow running jobs by speeding up feedback loop by creating efficient transformation and join using Spark API. So I hope that you are keen to learn and let's go to the first section that would be common problems and troubleshooting the Spark distributed engine. 